Hi there, Fuji have just announced the latest firmware for X-Series cameras version 4.30 which improves back button autofocus, one push focus apparently. Must be a lot faster, seems quite fast already, but anyway, any improvement to Fuji autofocusing for me is a fantastic thing to have, yep. Now, as I'm fortunate to have two of these bodies, I'm going to upgrade one first and then I can compare it with the older unupdated camera to see just how much faster this autofocus, this back button autofocus, push focus is. However, it doesn't mention speed, just accuracy. But we'll be testing that anyway. <laughs> Let's see the procedure. I'm downloading firmware 4.30 from Fuji's website, rather than via a smartphone app, which I find it a bit flaky at times. Firstly though, here's how to check your camera's firmware version. Press and hold in the display back button whilst turning the camera on. A couple of seconds later and, shock horror, I realise I'm four versions away from the latest with only version 4.11. Oh dear. So anyway, back to the info on how to select and download the latest version, which as I mentioned earlier, that's one push autofocus in manual focus mode using the back button on the X-T3. Also, there are the usual bug fixes with this firmware. It's a bit of a bugger that we don't know what they are, but it's probably much too technical for my small brain. Anyway, it's important to read through all the bumps as you scroll down, such as formatting an SD card and making sure the battery is fully charged before you go any further. On a Mac, the firmware will appear in the Downloads folder. From here, you can drag to the desktop or straight to your formatted SD card. Make sure it's placed in the root on the card. That means not in the DCM folder or any other folder. Then eject the SD card folder into the trash. Remove card and load into camera. Then, once again, hold in display, back button and turn the camera on. Press menu, body and then press OK. Press OK and read info and then press OK. A row of black squares will blink from left to right and this will take a minute or so. Then, halfway through, you've forgotten to check the battery, haven't you? Oh no! But then, it falls well and you did check the battery. It's hey presto, you have the latest version. Fantastic! So I wonder, is it possible to see the difference in focus acquisition between my X-T3s? The black cam with old firmware and the silver cam with new. Indoors I'm using the 1680 at 80mm focal length and f4 in manual focus and pressing the back button of course. Let's see if we can spot a significant improvement with the before and after firmware updates in real time. In real time, it's hard to see any difference, but if I slow the clips down by 25 or 20% of real time and split screen the black and silver X-T3s side by side, we should see a difference. Well, in theory anyway. Press. 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 Hmm, could be a tad faster on the right. Once again, for a change of scenery. I did try to line up the two clips so that they started at exactly the same time. Press. Press. Hmm. Well, what did you think, folks? Did you, did you see the difference? Did you spot it? Did you notice it? Okay, not exactly a conclusive test, was it, really? And uh, nor a scientific one. No, definitely not a scientific one whatsoever but anyway just to reiterate the uh, xt3 silver which was upgraded with the new firmware i use the 1680 at f4 for all shots and a focal length of 80 millimeter so i can get the absolute minimum depth of field possible with this lens <laughs> and that was focusing fairly close into subjects but yeah even trying to slow it down to 20 percent and show it side by side at the moment i press the button the back button which in manual focusing works the autofocus and then locks it. Did you see a difference? Blowed if I could. So, still confused, but anyway, always worth updating your cameras <laughs> at some point. And also make sure, of course, you are 
getting notifications through from Fuji that there is a new firmware update available because I never knew there was. And as you could see, I was four iterations of the firmware updates behind, dating back to last year. Dull. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the results, folks. If you were confused, well, you weren't as confused as I was, that's for sure. And I'm going to sign off now on the hottest day ever recorded in the UK. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to have to assume the window's open again in a moment because it's getting like an oven in here. Stay cool. <laughs> anyway, please subscribe, bash the bell below, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.